Shalom, I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Yeshim Yahweh Shah, by Yeshim Wakakwe Dash, the divine to the apostles and elders that rule well, and peace and blessings to you brothers out there that's kicking his words, sincerity, also the truth. You know, the most high puts, uh, <clears throat> ultimately, it's your flesh, you know, according to these scriptures. Um, you know, but we know that everything's out there by the most high. Um, you know, there's certain obstacles that you will face in your life that you have to pass the test. You know, a lot of times we get caught up in what another brother is doing wrong or another brother's test. You see, you could get consumed with admonishing another brother, being an older brother or something like that, or, 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 or just, you know, a brother that you love dearly, he's going off, you know. But within that struggle, within that struggle, you know, our, our, our adversity, if you will, we have to remember one thing, that we are also being tested. So the focal point of your walk is, or should be, this, is to pass the test. What and, and, and in order to do that, you have to recognize, you know, what the, uh, what what these various problems, you know, are events that happen in your life. What are they for, and why the Most High has placed you, placed these various uh, obstacles in life. Now, I'm gonna be reading this a bit slow because I'm driving. This is James 1 and 12. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation. For when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which Yahweh hath promised to them that love him. Let no man say when he's tempted, I am tempted of the Most High. For the Most High cannot be tempted with evil. Neither tempted he any man. Uh, but every man is tempted when he is uh, drawn away, away of his own lust and enticed. Then when lust uh, hath conceived, it bringeth forth sin. And when it is finished, bringeth forth death. Do not err, my beloved brethren. You see that? So when you are tempted, there's certain, uh, you know, things that appear to your lust. You see? You know, or, or uh, you know, you want to react in a carnal way and not in a spiritual way, case in point. My favorite example is the children of Israel. In a time of provocation, they became upset because they were in the wilderness and they didn't have any food. And so they began to harden their heart. What does that mean? They became angry. And so they started speaking against the Most High. You see, why is that? Because they were going through times of struggle. You know, and I want to say that the wilderness was the wilderness of sin. And that was a huge area of, you know, basically nothing. A whole bunch of trees, things of that nature. If you have a child, you know, uh, a wife, you know, you worry about them. And, you know, they probably more than likely got out of character. But see, they should have been depending on you. How will you should be on shot? And so in our everyday walks, you know, yeah, we might get angry at Satan, but it's very important to pass the test. You know, as I'm speaking, I'm hoping that I'm able to pass these various tests that uh, that come in my life, you know. So, I want to encourage you brothers to pass the test, and also I want you brothers to pray for one another. I don't want you to. I would like you to. How about that? Because I'm praying for you all. Um, 
Prayer is important to stay connected to the Heavenly Father. The Apostle McCall says this very often because prayer keeps you in that mind frame of pleasing Yahweh by Yeshua Yahweh A brother in my camp has um, uh, challenged us to pray, pray 15 times a day today. And I want, I would like to challenge you all to do the same thing. And I'm hoping that I, I, I will pass the test <laughs> and do the same thing. So Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, by Shem Wakar Kadash, Barak, Barak to the Akyam, and peace and blessings to uh, uh, the elders and the apostles. Shalom.